Uh, Russia now is facing a uh, huge sanctions from U.S. and European countries. So how your country uh, just deal with this? Well, first of all, uh, these sanctions are absolutely legal. Mm. <laughs> and uh, what the West is doing, and it's something that uh, is very uh, unlogical. First of all, they are destroying uh, the whole system of international trade mm. that was created in the last decades and they're smashing all the supply chain uh, chains uh, and uh, uh, so this these actions are, are backfiring uh, why they're doing that uh, usually the it's logical if, if, if this well it's there the sanctions are illegal the only body in the world that has the right to impose sanctions is the Security uh, Council of the United Nations uh, but if you apply sanctions usually it means that you want to change the government policies mm -hmm. has it ever worked no Iran Venezuela Cuba North Korea, Russia is under sanctions uh, from 2014. Has it made the, gov the government change its policies? No. Uh, if you want to, and that's what the West is saying, if you want to destroy the economy and hurt the people, uh, well, it, it doesn't work also. Uh, yes, in a sense, it hurts mm -hmm. uh, the people, but then what about democracy, human rights, you know, things like that? When you say that the aim of the sanctions is to destroy the Russian economy, how about, you know, human rights? So you want to uh, make Russian people suffer. W where is the human rights and democracy and all that? Uh, also, of course, it is. Uh, uh, in a sense, uh, maybe uh, it's now, uh, it's a window for opportunity for Russia because, first of all, we will never trust uh, the West again. Because when they, for instance, they freeze the reserves of uh, our central bank, and they did it not only with Russia, with, but with many countries previously, and they have never returned. Freezing means stealing. They have stolen our uh, money. Mm -hmm. uh, so maybe it's high time to uh, stop using their currencies mm -hmm. as, as our uh, reserves. How can you know, we trust them when they just steal uh, our money? And I think for many countries, it's also it's an eye-opener. How can you trust uh, the West? And how can you keep your reserves in, in dollars or euros? Because any, any second they don't like you, they say you are bad, and then they just take your, uh, your reserves. You know, uh, I, I, I already gave this comparison that, okay, I like your house, and I say you are bad. Mm -hmm. And I say to you, give me your house. Why? Because you are bad. But where are, how can you do it? Where is the legal basis? Where is the law? Oh, don't worry. I adopt a law. I say, uh, in this law I write, because you are bad, I have the right <laughs> to take your exactly. house. And I take your house. So uh, they behave like bandits. Uh, on the other hand, it's, it's quite a good business because they invested uh, around 40 billion US dollars in Ukraine in, church, in mm. turning Ukraine in, uh, to an anti-Russian project and now they have uh, more than around 300 uh, billion uh, US of our reserves. Very good investment, I would say. So, uh, of course, the uh, sanctions will not make our life uh, easier, yeah. but uh, uh, it, it's not new for us, something new for us. We've been un under sanctions I for see. 2014. So, uh, in response to this current situation, is there any specific strategy or countermeasure uh, in response to these huge sanctions? Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, to develop our own industry, to not okay. be dependent on uh, foreign partners, uh, I mean Western partners, 
you know, in 2014, when the first round of sanctions were imposed, uh, we developed our own agriculture. Before that, mm. we were very dependent on the food imports. Uh, but since then, uh, we're absolutely self-sufficient in food production. And of course, we don't produce bananas or uh, okay. mangoes, mm -hmm. uh, but we'll buy that from mm -hmm. Southeast Asia and <laughs> Indonesia. Uh, and uh, we became uh, number one wheat exporter. Mm -hmm. Now yeah. we export, now we don't import food, we export. We export beef, we export chicken, we export uh, wheat, we export seafood. Mm -hmm. So uh, the sanctions have, uh, we've learned our lessons. Kind blessing in disguise? Perhaps, perhaps. Okay. Of course, uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not, I cannot maybe assess the whole situation, but uh, from my point of view, of course, there will be uh, a period that will not be easy mm -hmm. uh, for our economy to adapt. But the end, uh, we can adapt because we are uh, very rich in uh, natural resources. Actually, we have everything, you know. Uh, beginning from oil and gas, uh, metals, gold, mm -hmm. whatever. Um, we are self-sufficient in food. We have a developed industry. We have a very well-educated population. So if we just concentrate on developing our own products, I'm sure that we will succeed. I see.